right.media. Live from Lucille's Roadhouse, it's the Swasu Coaches Show. Brought to you by ASAP Energy, Anadarko Dozer and Trucking, PSO, Pioneer Cellular, Jet Distributing, CJ Southwest Tire, Butcher's Wine and Spirits, McDonald's of Weatherford, Clinton, and Elk City, Bank First, CK Energy, More Than Medicine, A Plus Roofing, and Weatherford. Hey, they get to put a. Good evening. Welcome to the first edition of the Swasu Coaches Show. After a couple year hiatus, we are back at Lucille's Roadhouse here in Weatherford on Airport Road. We're just a day away from the first football game of the season. Golf, women's golf finished fourth today at the Central Region Preview. We've got soccer tomorrow. We've also got volleyball this weekend. We've got a lot of stuff going on. And we could not start the first Coaches Show without talking to the man in charge. Athletic Director Todd Thurman. Coach, appreciate you coming on and uh, glad to have you. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, bringing me out here. I know that uh, the last few weeks have, have been really busy for you and this it all leads up to this week when everything starts, all the practices, all the paperwork that has to get done, getting transcripts in from new from newcomers. Uh, but what are you most looking forward to this sports season as we start it this week? You know, for us, it's just getting started. Uh, you know, we've been pushed back a week. Usually we have our first games before Labor Day. And that's always a lot of fun and, and kind of builds into that weekend. Everybody have a Thursday night game, could be at home, could be away. And it's, it's a lot of excitement going on because of the pushback. You know, we've just been kind of sitting around trying to get things done, waiting for all this to start happening. Yep. We're so excited about football getting getting going. Uh, and, you know, of course, golf just kicked us off. Mm-hmm. Girls were way down and came back and, and ended that up four, a, a fourth finish. 14 yeah. shot swing. 14 today. shot swing. So that was, that was fantastic what they did. And then, of course, uh, uh, soccer's getting ready to play uh, probably the number one team in the country, Central mm-hmm. Central Missouri. And, and uh, that's always a great challenge. Mark Pearson does a great job with his team. they got a very young team. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, some way, somehow, they seem to continue to, to be good every year and continue to, to compete at a high level. And, of course, volleyball, Coach Collins, uh, you know, he was my uh, – my assistant basketball coach uh, when I first got here, and uh, now he's become an all-conference uh, or you know uh, coach of the year uh, in the volleyball world. Yep. So uh, we're excited about their you know their pick to win the league. So we're excited about them getting started as well. I know that uh, you know leading up to this, there's been you know uh, a ton of events going on. Like uh, certainly the auction, a big fundraiser that, that was tremendous. I think everyone there had a great time. Bulldog Pride Night. Uh, you know, talk about those events and not only what they do you know financially for the university certainly, but but what they do to kind of. Uh, build a sense of community well you know the uh, the auction started you know really right about the time i got here and uh ruben turian uh, uh this was his baby he got it mm-hmm. he got the thing rolling i remember the very first auction we had we raised forty thousand dollars and we thought we had just done something <laughs> incredible uh ever since then we've broken the you know six figures uh and even got into the two hundred thousand dollar area at, at times so it's been a great event it's a, obviously a great uh, event as far as raising scholarships uh, for our student athletes, uh, but more importantly, it's become a a friend raiser, and I think everybody has learned to really appreciate this event for no other reason but they get to be around people they haven't seen in a while. We got people coming to town yeah. uh, just just for this event and doing a part of this. So it's it's become uh, a pretty uh, amazing event, other than just the fundraising part of it. Pride Night was one of the things I brought to the table when I first became uh, athletic director, and. I think the reason why I wanted to do it, I wanted to make sure that we brought all of our teams together. Uh, I didn't want them to be stuck in their own world. Football and football, basketball and basketball, baseball and it goes sure. on. I want them to be understand that, that we're a family, that we're, we're one unit and that we should support each other. And uh, we started off with just being the athletes and then um, it, uh, caught, caught a little bit of fire on it and people started mm-hmm. talking about it. Uh, and then all of a sudden the band was there and yeah. then all of a sudden the cheerleaders were there and then the, the palms were there and now we got the student body there. <laughs> So it went from about you know 400 athletes to 1,500 to 2,000 people sitting yeah. in this thing, and so it's changed um, <clears throat> the way that it that it started. But I think it's changed for the better. It's kind of like a good kickoff, was almost a pep rally to get us rolling, and so it's been a uh, it's been a great event. Not only I think it continues to to make sure our student athletes know that that we we care for them, we love them, we we want the best for them, and we want them to support each other. Now we got the student body and the band and everybody else involved, so it's become a really, really great way to kick off the season. And a great speech that doesn't exist unless you were actually there because nobody caught it on HD video. Uh, you know, you look at uh, you look at the success, and, and this is something that I think has been interesting uh, that, I, that I've certainly felt. Women's basketball last year, national championship game. Women's golf goes to the national semifinals. I feel like that's reinvigorated not only the athletic department, but the fan base as well. I feel like people are more excited now 
just in general for Swasu Athletics. I, do, do you get the same feeling? Well, I, I think people want to be a part of a winning program. I mean, they want to. They love winners, and 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 uh, you know because of a. You know, budgetary issues and different things of resources and, and things that other conferences or other schools mm-hmm. may have. What we have is great people. We 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 got great hires. We got great coaches. I, I've always believed that the best coaches are the ones that do more with less. Yeah. And then if you actually are able to give them more, then who knows what they're going to do. Uh, what our women's basketball team did last year uh, was just incredible. And and we all got to get on the on the on the exactly. bus and ride with them. And uh, they just took us uh, on an incredible journey, you know, to finish undefeated uh, in conference play. And it was something no one thought they could do to go up there and beat Fort Hayes in the region tournament on their own home court to win a championship in the region. Nobody thought that was going to happen, yep. you know, to be able to go to the to lead eight and keep continue to knock teams off uh, from across the country and then play a team that they had beaten earlier yeah, exactly. in the championship and losing double overtime. What what an incredible ride. And uh, and I tell you to be honest with you, and I think this is this is uh, for all of our programs. Uh, they are great kids. Yeah. They're unbelievable kids. They're they're very approachable. They are uh, their their hearts are right. Uh, they do it for the right reasons. Um, they they are humble, which is pretty amazing for teams that are that successful. Exactly. Yep. And so for that, uh, and you look at that. That's amazing for me to watch those young ladies do it. Golf team does the same thing. You know, nobody thought that they were going to go that high. They weren't picked to, to really do much, in, you know, but they end up winning the region. They get up there and they go match play and knock off the number one team in the country and get to the semifinals. We have a young lady that has, you know, one stroke away from winning a national championship. Yep. You know, we're right there a couple tr- strokes away from getting into the, you know, final two. So, you know, I mean, I, I think people love that. I, I, you know, it's great stories. It's great news. But I always think that people want to be a part of, of winning. And so I, I think it's reinvigorated, just like you said, not only – us and the campus. I think it's done it with the coaches. I think it's with the student athletes. I think everybody uh, are excited about their season starting. I think that's what Pride Night was telling us. Yeah. You know, I think everybody saw what they want to do. So it's it's got them all motivated, ready to go. And I'm excited about you know I'm going to the football game tomorrow night, and uh, I'm excited about you know watching these kids get you know just get off the bus and, and, and hit it running. So I'm with you. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I've been waiting since Ohio since we got back from Ohio to get this thing yeah. back rolling. Mm-hmm. Yes. Coach, uh, as always, we appreciate the time. Thanks for coming on. Uh, the Swatch Through Coaches Show, where we've been able to do this without our sponsors, whether for Regional Hospital, More Than Medicine, Public Service Company of Oklahoma, bringing you the Swatch Through Coaches Show. We'll take a break. We'll come back with the head football coach. Football plays tomorrow. We'll come back with Chip Hobelish after this in the Swatch Through Coaches Show. You will always find a clean and friendly atmosphere. Hello. Fresh, hot food. Delicious. As well as gas and diesel. Use your kickback card and get rewarded for all your purchases from a store you can trust. ASAP General Stores. Stop by any of the seven Western Oklahoma locations in Weatherford, Clinton, Hinton, and Thomas. So, what are you waiting for? Get there ASAP. Here's Jay and Angie Wyatt, owners of Anadarko Dozer and Trucking. We think the cream of the crop is, is all that we are. It shows not only our safety records, the reports we get from the customers. Even if we don't have a position to fill, if the right applicant walks in the door, we will take the time, we will visit with them, and and it may be a situation where we weren't looking for that person, but when they walked in the door, you know, they're the right person for us. Apply now at Anadarko Dozer and Trucking on South Main in Elk City or in Hinton, three miles south on 281. How can we energize the future of Oklahoma? FFA is a dynamic youth organization that focuses on agricultural education. Public Service Company of Oklahoma is proud to support the leaders of tomorrow in partnership with the Oklahoma FFA, providing sponsorships, fostering innovation, and inspiring success. Nothing brings a community together like FFA. When energy is boundless, there's a brighter future for all of us. Coors Light is cold packaged. For peak refreshment. The world's most refreshing beer, Coors Light. When was the last time you looked at your cellular bill? No, I mean really looked at your cellular bill. Pioneer has introduced new plans that will help you find the savings on cellular service so you don't pay more than you should. How about this? Pioneer's new family plans offer unbeatable prices on the area's most reliable cellular network. For example, now get three lines with 20 gigabytes of data 
for just $90 per month. Wow. Stop by a Pioneer store or call us at 1-800-641-2732 to find the savings. Need your oil and filter changed? Take your vehicle to CJ Southwest Tire in Weatherford. There is no appointment needed. Bring your car, truck, or diesel in today. You can wait in the comfort of our smoke-free lounge while experienced technicians change your oil and filter on your vehicle. CJ Southwest Tire on the corner of Maine and Kansas in Weatherford. Your Bridgestone and Firestone dealer. CJ Southwest Tire. See them on Facebook and at cjsouthwesttire.com. Welcome back to the Swansu Coaches Show, live from Lucille's Roadhouse here in Airport Road in Weatherford. Time to talk a little football. Head coach Chet Pobel is with us. Coach, uh, I know that uh, you're as excited as anybody to get the season started tomorrow night in Durant against a good Southeastern team, certainly. Uh, before we talk about uh, the Savage Storm, you know, for those that don't know, and they see this phrase everywhere and they can't figure out what the heck it means, uh, and you, you explain this a lot, but I do. spot the ball, the motto for the football team, something that you brought with you to Weatherford, uh, Run us through that. What does that mean, and, and why Why is that the motto for the football team? Well, um, it starts with the mentality of the football team. And, and basically what we're trying to say is, you know, it doesn't matter who we're playing. doesn't matter where we're playing. doesn't matter the conditions. You put the ball down, we're going we're gonna to play. I mean, that's what we're here to do. Rain or shine, Lambeau Field, parking lot, it doesn't matter. But but honestly, it's, it's more than that. It's about life. It's about class. You know, there's there's days when you don't feel like going to class. And, you know, spot the ball. It's you know, time to do what you need to do. Um, times when, when things are a little bit difficult maybe in the weight room and you don't want to get after it I mean would you say spot the ball it's, it's time time to do what you need to do so yeah it does have, kind of have a football motivational meaning but it's more more than that to us and to the Bulldogs you're heading into your second year uh, three and eight last year take me through the differences between last year coming into your first year and this year you know I assume that it was easier certainly but uh, biggest differences for you from your first fall camp to your second fall camp um, and and nothing, nothing against the guys that were here before, but you know, right now we have 131 players on the team, and only 36 of them have taken a snap in the Bulldog uniform. Um, so a lot of these guys are our guys. They know what to expect. They they, they know what we're we're trying to do. That that we recruited them on the same principles. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, that's probably the most exciting thing is is we're, we're just different. And, I, and like I said, it's not bad or good. It's just it's a different team. Um, and I'm really excited about this team. I'm excited about them as men, as young men. I mean, we have a good, good group of kids. You know, they're they're football players and they're ornery and they're you know they're going to do things that you know sometimes maybe they shouldn't. But <laughs> they're, they're overall they're good people and, and that makes them fun to coach. We talked uh, you know this week about the depth chart that's come out, starters named and everything. And you know we'll talk to the quarterback Tyler Marr, new starter uh, under center. Um, any other things that, that you looked at at the depth chart, you know, positions that were really up for battle? How, how much competition was there for starting spots during camp? A, a lot, and there still is. I mean, n nothing set in stone. I mean, every day is a competition. Every day is an interview. Um, you know, there, there's several positions where, you know, the guy might be the starter of this game, but, you know, game two, three, four, where guys start to figure things out, it, it might change. Um, and I, d I do want to say this about Tyler Marr. Um, you know, they're talking about a fifth-year senior who was a backup for four years in, in, an, in an age of instant gratification and transferring. And yep. That's a guy that did things right. And, and not only that, but he paid attention in meetings. He, he got his reps in practice. He did everything that a starter would do. And for to see somebody like that get the opportunity, is just, it's a its a blessing to him and what he's done. And I'm, I'm so proud of him. And it's nothing I did, I mean, but, you know, just for him to do what he's done and have the, the ability to lead this football team in game one is just a tremendous attribute to him. And I'm so proud of him. Tomorrow night, kick the season off against Southeastern in Durant, uh, a team and, and a place that's been tough to beat the last couple of years for the Bulldogs. What's been the focus this week in practice as, you, as you've as you prepped on a short week? You know, just focusing on us, um, you know, being the best we can be, being disciplined, running the ball on defense, um, being physical on offense. You know, we're not really sure what we're going to see as an offense, so we've got to be prepared for anything um, defensively. We just got to make sure we're running the ball and, and not miss tackles. Certainly Southeastern, you know, like you said, defensively a good team, but not a whole lot out there on them. What have you prepared for for your defense and facing a guy that's, uh, you know, they played two quarterbacks last year. Seems like they've got a starter now. So what's been the focus for your defense this week? You know, I, I think one of the advantages of us offensively is we do a lot. You know, we mm -hmm. run some triple option. We throw the ball a little bit. We, you know, we get in the eye. We run it downhill. So our offense, our defense goes against our offense every day. And on the flip side of that, our defense does a lot too. So, you know, we, we go good on good every day. Um, you know, there's there's very few days that we don't go good on good. We get the speed of the game. We get the multiplicity of, of our, you know, offensive side of the ball and defensive side of the ball. So just excited, really, to 
play against somebody else. You know, it's a, it's an opponent that's going to come out. They're going to be ready to play. They're going to be well coached. They're going to be physical, and and that's that's what you want. I mean, that's what you as a football player and as a football coach, you want to be tested by a team that's physical, disciplined, and well coached. You Absolutely. Want to see where you are. Uh, you know, as far as you know, the expectations surrounding this team, you know, we've talked about it. a lot of new guys, new starting quarterback who's prepared really well for this moment. What do you guys talk about when you talk about the season in general? Do you have expectations, goals that you've set? To... Yeah, yeah, our goals really don't cha uh, don't change, and you know, it's it's not really result oriented. It's trust the process, and wins will come. I mean, and and uh, we've done that up to this point. You know, will the wins and losses reflect right away? Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll find out. But I, I like the direction we're going. I like the attitude of the kids. I like the work ethic. I like the way things are going in the weight room. It's headed in the right direction, and I'm very pleased with that. The The biggest concern probably is going to be is when that adversity hits, how are we going to react? Sure. You know, how is that? How is this team going to respond? Because a lot of them haven't played together. So you know, everything's all fine right now, but the first time, whether we get hit in the mouth or lose a game or shoot, fumble the ball, or they, you know, how are we going to react? And that's probably what I've talked to them about more than anything is how we're going to handle that adversity and, and get back to what we need to do. I know we're not the only ones excited for football tomorrow. 6.30 kickoff in Durant against Southeastern. Coach Pobolish with us. Coach, appreciate your time. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Head Coach Chet Pobolish with us here on the Coaches Show. We'll take another break. We'll come back and we'll talk with that senior quarterback, Tyler Marr. This is the Swasu Coaches Show live from Lucille's Roadhouse. When it's time to unwind, pick up a bottle of your favorite stuff at Butcher's Wine and Spirits in Weatherford. All the top brands at the absolute best price. From whiskey, bourbon, gin, and scotch to your favorite craft, import, or domestic beer, Butcher's has you covered. And when it comes to wine, Butcher's has the best selection in town. And don't forget to check out their sale rack with deep discounts. Butcher's Wine and Spirits on Main in Weatherford. Bank First is loyal to the same spirit of industry and ingenuity seen across decades of life in Weatherford. Still a proud stop on Route 66, the vibrant modern reality has the loyalty of local people who run this Bank First, where a rising powerhouse of wind energy joins a renewable source of brain power at Southwestern Oklahoma State University. Bank First, loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to you. Family and CK Energy Electric Cooperative, it's the ideal partnership. CK Energy makes every customer an owner of the business. Unlike other electric utilities, CK Energy exists to make sure your needs are always met, not to make a profit. We are locally owned and operated and we are always there with you, reinvesting in your community. That's why in an electric co-op, the people have the power. Owned by our communities, committed to our members. CK is your energy. On the corner of Custer and Main Street in Weatherford, More Than Medicine stands ready to fill your prescriptions in a fast, friendly, and professional way. They also offer an outstanding selection of gifts for people of all ages. Their Gold Crown Hallmark card selection is second to none, and More Than Medicine is the perfect place for a bridal registry. All this, that's why it's called More Than Medicine. Corner of Main and Custer in Weatherford. They're on call for you 24 hours a day. The weather in western Oklahoma is unpredictable. When you need help, folks have been counting on the expertise of A-plus roofing and construction. Owned and operated by Damon Schultz, a GAF certified contractor. Fully insured with an A-plus rating by the Better Business Bureau. A-plus roofing always offers free estimates. Call today, 580-772-7587. That's 772-7587. Here before and after the storm. A-plus roofing and construction in Weatherford. 
We're back here live at Lucille's Roadhouse on the Swanson Coaches Show, brought to you in part by CK Energy, Bank First, and Butcher's Wine and Spirits. we got a real height thing going on here. We go from Coach Thurman, we go to Coach Pobelish, so a little taller, a little shorter, and then we go to the 6'5 quarterback. Tyler Marr with us, a senior uh, out of Beggs. Uh, Tyler, man, thanks for coming out. Appreciate yeah, absolutely. it. absolutely. Excited to be here. First game tomorrow. That's new right. starting quarterback. Uh, you know, Co- Coach talked about it a little bit, but, uh, you know, playing this back up the last few years, fifth-year senior, your time to shine mm-hmm. now. Yeah, how much different was your preparation coming into this season, knowing that you know this was very well could be your job? It's a little bit different because whenever you're the backup, it's like uh, you have the mindset that I might get to play, so I need to be prepared. And now it's a mindset of I'm going to play. Yeah. I need to be prepared. You know, so it's just like another gear, um, a little bit more. When you, you know, I thought I was really preparing before, but it's it's another level now. How was camp for you? Are, are you pleased with how things went? Maybe your progression from start to finish? Absolutely. There's a lot of things. I think our big focus this year was just trying to clean things up, you know, yep. be more consistent. Um, and I feel like we did that a lot um, from the start, even in the spring to where we are now. It's um, We're executing at a high level. You know, with the new role comes you know, new expectations and new responsibilities even, you know, being the leader on the team, playing the most important position out there. You know, has, has that been an adjustment for you at all, kind of stepping into the role that guys are looking up to? I think, you know, I have a good relationship with a lot of the guys on the team, and that started since my freshman year. So now it's, it's not really like I have to step up or be someone else. It's just, you know, do what I'm supposed to do, and they expect that from me, and I expect that from them. And, you know, we kind of have that relationship. You know, as far as you know, schematically goes, how are things looking? Timing getting better? You know, the guys around you, you haven't played with most of them. A lot of them, you know, either didn't get a time last year or are new. So, you know, how's the offense looking as far as timing and execution and all that stuff? It's looking really good. We spent a lot of time in the spring, and, you know, there was uh, some key guys that were there in the summer, and we go out and, you know, at least two times a week, you know, and we'd be out there on our own time too, really trying to um, get the timing and stuff like that down because, Everybody at this level, they understand how important yeah. that is, and it's it's paying off now. You know, we talk about, you know, what what things you guys might do well, and you, know, you look at the receivers, there's a lot of super fast guys, the running backs are big and strong, but you're telling me that that option game, pretty deadly. You yeah. know, what's, do you look forward to, to, to running one thing over another, or is it just you're kind of leading the whole charge? I think there's some plays, you know, we have some design handoffs where for me it's just give the ball to the more athletic guys, and um, I understand that's that's – obviously a, a big part of our game but I get excited whenever we you know we throw the ball around just because I like throwing the ball as a quarterback and then the option game is a lot of fun for me because I might make three or four decisions real quick off the snap of the ball and that's that's always exciting I know that you've watched Southeastern on film I know that uh, their past defense last year was really good but there's not a you know not a ton of information on them for some reason uh, what have you seen from them what are some things that you have to watch out for um, I think the big thing for us is just trying to diagnose early uh, everything we do we have an answer no matter what coverage they try to play or what front they show us um, it's just about you know seeing the field seeing what they're doing and uh, diagnosing it and uh, making our reads true and yeah. from there everything will work itself out you know we've talked about and I asked coach Thurman this you know after the success that women's basketball and golf had it seems like people are even maybe more excited than they usually are for just Swansea sports in general Seeing the support from the community during Bulldog Pride Night and seeing you know the amount of people that come out and support you guys, what does that mean to you now as a senior coming to your time uh, or coming to a close in Weatherford? Yeah, it's really uh, – I love it. I mean, the people that I've met in Weatherford, they're all really supportive and really kind and really loving, uh, not only just in Swasu, like the student body, but, you know, fans, um, uh, different people that I've met in Weatherford. Uh, the sport is incredible, so – I know win or lose, they're going to be there and have our backs, and it's it's it takes some pressure off of you knowing that you got people around you that care about you like that. I know it's your first start tomorrow. You're not nervous, right? A little butterflies going on, but not nervous. A little butterflies, no, ner- it's not nervous though. How much fun is it to play with the guys that you have around you? Guys like Donnell Hawkins and Jared Rayburn, guys that can just flat fly, and then to turn around and, and then to turn around and hand it to those guys in the backfield like Tristan Houston. How much fun is that for you to, do, to to be able to get those guys in space and watch them work? It's very fun, and that's one of the goals I'm trying to do whenever I'm out there is just try to get the ball to the guys who can make plays, and I know that they can do that. And a lot of those guys, they have potential to play beyond the level they're at right now. So, you know, I want to do my part in helping them, you know, reach reach their goals. And 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Tyler Mars is going to make his first start at quarterback tomorrow. Tyler, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, thanks for coming out, man. We'll see you tomorrow on Durant. Absolutely. Thank you. Tyler Marr with us here on the Swasu Coaches Show. We'll take another break. When we come back, we'll talk a little volleyball. The volleyball team heads up to Joplin this weekend for the Missouri Southern Lion Classic. They've got four games in two days. Josh Collins, Caitlin Dillon going to join us here a little bit later at Loose Hills Roadhouse in Weatherford. This is the Swasu Coaches Show. Convenient Care got just even more convenience. Weatherford Convenient Care has moved locations. You can now get that convenient one-on-one -on -one personal care at the Weatherford Regional Hospital. Just enter the far west entrance, labeled main entrance, and they will get you checked in and on your way to fast, convenient, one-of-a-kind care. Or skip the wait and check in online at weatherfordhospital.com. Weatherford Convenient Care, now located inside the Weatherford Regional Hospital at 3701 West Main. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. ASAP General Stores have seven Western Oklahoma locations conveniently located in Weatherford, Clinton, Henson, and Thomas. At ASAP General Stores, you will always find a clean and friendly atmosphere. Hello. Fresh, hot food. Delicious. As well as gas and diesel. Use your kickback card and get rewarded for all your purchases from a store you can trust. ASAP General Stores. Stop by any of the seven Western Oklahoma locations in Weatherford, Clinton, Hinton, and Thomas. So, what are you waiting for? Get there ASAP. Here's Jay and Angie Wyatt, owners of Anadarko Dozer and Trucking. We think the cream of the crop is, is all that we hire. It shows not only our safety records, the reports we get from the customers. Even if we don't have a position to fill, if the right applicant walks in the door, we will take the time, we will visit with them, and, and it may be a situation where we weren't looking for that person, but when they walked in the door, you know, they're the right person for us. Apply now at Anadarko Dozer and Trucking on South Main in Elk City or in Hinton, three miles south on 281. How can we energize the future of Oklahoma? FFA is a dynamic youth organization that focuses on agricultural education. Public Service Company of Oklahoma is proud to support the leaders of tomorrow in partnership with the Oklahoma FFA, providing sponsorships, fostering innovation, and inspiring success. Nothing brings a community together like FFA. When energy is boundless, there's a brighter future for all of us. When was the last time you looked at your cellular bill? No, I mean really looked at your cellular bill. Pioneer has introduced new plans that'll help you find the savings on cellular service so you don't pay more than you should. How about this? Pioneer's new family plans offer unbeatable prices on the area's most reliable cellular network. For example, now get three lines with 20 gigabytes of data for just $90 per month. Wow. Stop by a Pioneer store or call us at 1-800-641-2732 to find the savings. Need your oil and filter changed? Take your vehicle to CJ Southwest Tire in Weatherford. There is no appointment needed. Bring your car, truck, or diesel in today. You can wait in the comfort of their smoke-free lounge while experienced technicians change your oil and filter on your vehicle. CJ Southwest Tire on the corner of Maine and Kansas in Weatherford. Your Bridgestone and Firestone dealer. CJ Southwest Tire. See them on Facebook and at cjsouthwesttire.com. Welcome back to Lou Seals Roadhouse and the Swasu Coaches Show brought to you in part by McDonald's A-plus Roofing and Construction and CJ Southwest Tire. We're calling an audible because Coach <laughs> Collins isn't here yet. And I'm more than willing to put him on blast publicly that he is not here yet. We're joined in by, and then we get this right, Assistant Athletic Director for Media Relations, the new title, the new promotion yep. for Doug Self. That's me. As you can tell, I'm still learning it because I went to introduce myself to your guy over here. And, uh, yeah, I still Had started to... with sports. Infra uh, no, no, it's now actually assistant athletic director for media relations. Do you so. feel better? Do you feel more powerful now with, with assistant athletic director? No, I feel absolutely no different. Um, you know, day to day it's the, the <laughs> same basic job. Well, um, you know, I guess it just looks a little better on a resume. And you know what the – 
um, the footer there in the email, you know, when you send those, now yeah. it says assistant AD. Other than that, not a whole, whole lot has changed. It's a little bit longer now. All right, so Swasu Sports start, you know, in earnest this week. Uh, golf, 14-shot yeah. swing. They, they finished fourth at the Central Region Preview. Soccer's got to play a juggernaut in Central Missouri. <laughs> Volleyball is at Missouri Southern, a place that neither of us like from our college days. Yep. And then, you know, football starts tomorrow. This is the most exciting time and busiest time of the year. You know, for you, the last few weeks, what have they been like getting everything ready to go? Man, it's been... It, I want to say it's been a little hectic. You know, there's a lot going on, and, you know, I'm breaking in new staff members myself. Plus, you know, we got some really talented people helping me out to, to push the word, you know, push our content of what's been going on. And, you know, the cool thing has been seeing the reception of what we got going on. You know, we started with Pride Night, and, you know, the time is now, and that I feel like that has really caught on with a lot of our teams, uh, a lot of our fans. Um, and just like I think the excitement level is extremely high, which makes this week kind of difficult because, yes, you're starting your games, but everybody's on the road this week. So exactly. it's, it's kind of hard to build too much excitement when what's the closest cross country's in Edmond. That's the closest team we got competing yep. this week. Everyone else is in, you know, Joplin, Durant, uh, Warrensburg. I guess soccer comes back Saturday and they're in Edmond. So um, it's exciting. But, you know, I think next week is when we'll really see it pick up when we got some home games starting finally. Absolutely. You, you talk about the time is now and, you know, yeah, I go back to pride night and I remember, you know, Coach Thurman and, and, and his super inspiring speech, the, the drop the mic moment. He's talking yeah. about the time is now with what women's basketball did and what golf did. You know, and I asked him this. I feel like there's been a rejuvenation of a fan base mm -hmm. in an athletic department. Do you feel the same thing? I really do. I think one of the things, and even in my time here, you always wonder you know, what is, what's the highest level that we can compete at here at Southwestern Oklahoma State. And, um, you know, for too long it had been, if you got to the regional, that was the, you know, yeah. was about as good as it can get. And, um, you know, finally we had a team break down and, or break, you know, break through and win that Central Regional Championship. And then you wonder, like, man, what else can they do? And what do they do? Lo and behold, they get the national championship game. And um, it, and then it kind of sneaks in the back of your head. It's like, man, I wonder how long before we can do this again. Exactly. That's, you know, that's the immediate thought. And then, you know, there we are two months later, and the golf team does the same thing. They win the championship of the central region. They get into the, you know, into the national championships. They make it to match play, which had only started two years prior. And then they get in the national semifinals, and they're one shot away from beating the national champions. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, think about that. Southwestern Oklahoma State is on the map now within NCAA Division Two, and hopefully we have more teams getting closer to competing at that level. And, um, you know, I look forward to watching teams continue to break through and have that success. You know, everybody looking forward to all these sports starting, much like me. You do game prep for football with, you know, the, the game notes and all the preparation work you do. You know, this year's team, a lot of newcomers, so a lot of work for you getting, mm -hmm. you know, hometowns and heights and yeah. weights for the new guys. Uh, but, you know, I feel like those new guys bring a lot of excitement to the team. You know, you've been out at practice. Uh, what are some things that excite you about this new group? I think it is just that, that sense of new. You know, last season just – ended poorly for us bottom line you know that's what happens when you have a first year team and they're trying to you know figure out coach publish and his staff and he's trying to figure out his players and um you know you just you butt heads for whatever reason but now there's yep. there's so many new guys i spent the bulk of the first two weeks that i was out of practice just trying to put a number with a name you know i exactly. see all these practice numbers i've seen a lot of these names um you know heard the ones to look for and then you finally see them out there on the field and you see what they've been talking about for so long um you know there's there's a lot to be excited about with this team. Um, like I said, I haven't been out there in a couple of weeks, and I hear you know we've got our running back Tristan Houston back in practice, and I haven't got to see him go yet. Um, I don't know. There's just there's so many unknowns, and I think that's the exciting thing about this football season. We don't really know what to expect, but I think um, you know I think what the fans are going to see is an exciting product on the field. That's what Coach Publish has always promised, and um, you know, tune in tomorrow night if you can't make it, but next Saturday night I think you'll be impressed with what you see. Yeah, next Saturday, the ASAP kickoff classic with East Central. You know, an exciting product. You talk about what Josh Collins has done with the volleyball team and, and how good they've been. Picked to win the GAC this year, which is as impressive as anything. You know, them, Harding, and Henderson feels like a three-horse race in the GAC. Uh, you know, with what they've got returning, that's a team that feels like they've got a really good chance to do something special. Yeah, and what's funny about that is, you know, we lost six seniors off of last exactly. year's um, team to finish second, including my graduate assistant, Clemson Lancaster. She's um, now a coach, one of nine. Yeah, she's one of a coach and part of the sports information staff. So, um, you know, that requires a shout out at the coach's show. True. Um, but like that talks to the respect that the program has garnered within the coaches in the conference that they were picked to first with a team that lost that much. And, you know, Harding, the team that they only had one loss in conference play, mm -hmm. play last year, that was to us. They beat Nebraska Kearney in the regional who, I don't know if you saw this, but Kearney went and beat Wyoming in exhibition play a couple yep. weeks ago. So The Lopers I mean, are always good. Yeah, that is uh, in Kearney, you know. Kearney wow. was hosting the region, so that's a you know very impressive. And that was a team that we were able to knock off at the event center. 
you know, this is, you know, like I said, it's the busiest time of year. Soccer goes up and plays Central yeah. Missouri. Even soccer, getting picked second in the yep. GAC with as much as they lost from a team that, you know, went to penalty kicks to win, to win mm -hmm. a conference tournament last year. Uh, Coach Peterson does not rebuild. He just reloads. Yeah, he does. And he's got 17 freshmen, I think 21, 22, you no know, newcomers Man. overall. And, you know, you talk about the football team learning a lot of new names. That's one that that one's going to take me a while. I've seen the photos. You know, I've tried to match some of the, the names with the numbers, but that's a lot of new faces on a, you know, a team field and 11 on the field at a time. So. Um, but, I mean, they're extremely talented. You know, Coach Pearson, like you said, always does. He he does it from Oklahoma. He does it from Texas. Even this year he got some from Arizona, New Mexico. And then, he you know, he uses his foreign contacts and always yeah. has, you know, you know our top returner, Sandra Nabotome, Um She has scored a lot of goals in three years as a Bulldog, and now she's going to be kind of the feature of that offense. And I look for that, you know, to only continue. Soccer plays Central Missouri in Warrensburg. Yeah. So not only do you play a top ten team in the country, maybe the best team in the country, yep. but you got to play them on the road as well. You know, golf today, 14 shot mm -hmm. swing, they finished fourth. Uh, you look at what they've lost from yeah. a year ago and, and how good they're projected to be within the conference. And yeah. again, Coach Fleetwood, uh, you know, does a tremendous job. But last year at PGA National, you know, this spring we were all holding our breath at the end, but to see what they to see what they bring back and how good everyone expects them to be, that level of respect that they got after what mm -hmm. they did has got to be through the roof. Oh yeah, I mean they lost all five people that played exactly. on that team at the in the national semifinals, and we only returned one player who played any last year, and that was she played in the fall before she got beat out of the lineup in the spring. Um, I mean that's the I couldn't even tell you all their names at this point. No, you know, I know either. there's there's six of them. The majority, you know, he goes with the international flavor, and it's worked for him. You know, he had Gloria Choi the last four years, who's a two-time All-American. Um, you know, Elon Wallen, who had I think she was four-time All-Conference, yep. um, two-time All-Region. You know, he seems I don't know who his contacts are, how he pulls it off, but he always <laughs> seems to find people from uh, I want to say obscure countries that probably couldn't pinpoint Oklahoma on a map and brings yeah. them in here and has success with them. So it's it's cool to see that those type of teams come together because, you know, there's there's only so many teams here that recruit internationally, and to see him put together rosters like that, it's it's fun to watch it all come together and then, you know, ultimately to finish up the way it did with them, and, you know, getting that far last season. Hopefully Coach Fleetwood's working on his game. We're playing in a golf tournament on Friday, and we need him at his best. Uh, Doug? Thanks for coming in. Yeah, you bet. As always, appreciate it, and I appreciate all the work you do. Uh, SwasuAthletics.com, he's responsible for all of that. So if you enjoy going to watch any of his and read any of his stuff, uh, this is a guy that does it, now assistant yeah. athletic director. People, you know, people don't know who's behind it. They do now. Yeah. This is I guess, the whole point. I mean, I guess Coach Poblish is up for, um, you know, the public shout-out. So if, if you want, follow me on Twitter, at DSelf11. Um, there you go. Plug the Twitter account. Yeah. Very good. Go dogs. Farming followers. <laughs> Take a break here on the Swasu Coaches Show. We're back with more next from Lucille's Roadhouse. When it's time to unwind, pick up a bottle of your favorite stuff at Butcher's Wine and Spirits in Weatherford. All the top brands at the absolute best price. From whiskey, bourbon, gin, and scotch to your favorite craft, import, or domestic beer, Butcher's has you covered. And when it comes to wine, Butcher's has the best selection in town. And don't forget to check out their sale rack with deep discounts. Butcher's Wine and Spirits on Main in Weatherford. Bank First is loyal to the same spirit of industry and ingenuity seen across decades of life in Weatherford. Still a proud stop on Route 66, the vibrant modern reality has the loyalty of local people who run this Bank First, where a rising powerhouse of wind energy joins a renewable source of brain power at Southwestern Oklahoma State University. Bank First, loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to you. Family and CK Energy Electric Cooperative, it's the ideal partnership. CK Energy makes every customer an owner of the business. Unlike other electric utilities, CK Energy exists to make sure your needs are always met, not to make a profit. We are locally owned and operated and we are always there with you, reinvesting in your community. That's why in an electric co-op, the people have the power. Owned by our communities, committed to our members. CK is your energy. 
On the corner of Custer and Main Street in Weatherford, More Than Medicine stands ready to fill your prescriptions in a fast, friendly, and professional way. They also offer an outstanding selection of gifts for people of all ages. Their Gold Crown Hallmark card selection is second to none, and More Than Medicine is the perfect place for a bridal registry. All this, that's why it's called More Than Medicine. Corner of Maine and Custer in Weatherford. They're on call for you 24 hours a day. The weather in western Oklahoma is unpredictable. When you need help, folks have been counting on the expertise of A-plus roofing and construction. Owned and operated by Damon Schultz, a GAF certified contractor. Fully insured with an A-plus rating by the Better Business Bureau. A-plus roofing always offers free estimates. Call today, 580-772-7587. That's 772-7587. Here before and after the storm. A-plus roofing and construction in Weatherford. Convenient Care got just even more convenient. Weatherford Convenient Care has moved locations. You can now get that convenient one-on-one -on -one personal care at the Weatherford Regional Hospital. Just enter the far west entrance, labeled Main Entrance, and they will get you checked in and on your way to fast, convenient, one-of-a-kind care. Or skip the wait and check in online at weatherfordhospital.com. Weatherford Convenient Care, now located inside the Weatherford Regional Hospital at 3701 West Main. Open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. We are back at Lucille's Roadhouse for the Swasu Coaches Show, joined in now by reigning GAC Coach of the Year, Josh Collins. I will never not introduce you as that until oh, you don't geez. win the Coach of the Year, which is, at this point is going to be never. It's yeah. going to be a repeat performance. Uh, Coach Collins with us. Uh, start the season this weekend up yes, in sir. Joplin. Make the four-hour-ish drive to Missouri Southern to play in the Lion Classic. And uh, good teams there, certainly. Good test. Uh, before we get to that, though, take us to the preseason a team that – was picked to win the GAC. I, first thing, when you saw that poll, what was your first reaction? Uh, we have seven new players and a new assistant <laughs> coach. Um, you know, our cha our our whole coaching staff is, you know, kind of changed except for uh, Coach Christina and I. So, uh, lots of new stuff. Uh, obviously, uh, we appreciate the respect, and I think it's a sign of growth in our program. Uh, but as a head coach, you never want to see your name <laughs> pop up first. Um, just because you'd, you'd much rather, uh, you know, come out and give uh, the underdog speech than, you know, you got a target on your back. But you got to start that at some point if you yeah. want to continually win championships, sure. and that's what we want to build towards. So uh, we'll take it. And, uh, you know, I've heard Coach Music, who, who knows a little bit about this. About winning. But, yeah, a little bit about winning and building a program. But I've heard her say many times that, you know, pressure is either felt or applied. And so – uh, you know, we're going to try to apply that this year. Can't think of how many times she said that at, at some point during basketball yeah, season. Countless times. Uh, you, like you said, you got new players. You got a tremendous group that's returning. Certainly, you know, uh, Caitlin Dillon. We'll talk to her. Talk to her in a little bit. Uh, you know, talk about those those returners and, and what they've meant to your team coming off a season like that. Now with maybe you know a target on your back, like you said, you know, what have they done during preseason to get you guys ready? Well, I want to start by what they do off the court, and. Um, you know, our culture is very important to us, and they all bleed Swasu Blue, mm -hmm. and they believe in what we stand for, and they want to emulate that every single day. And as a coach, w winning or losing um, becomes second door secondary when uh, you have that culture, and you just see them become uh, better people every day, and you know that they're going to leave here and be successful and make some other place better. And so uh, this group of seniors and, and group of returners uh, have set the stage and showed our new people exactly what our culture is and what we stand for. And so that's what I'm most proud of our, our returners about. Um, but then you take it to the court and, um, you know, we're, we're doing a lot of new stuff this year. So even our returners are learning a lot and they learned a whole lot in preseason. Uh, but they were still, you know, again, showing – uh, the new people the way and showing them how we do practice and how we, uh, you know, how we're going to bring energy every day and how if we don't, you know, they're going to find out about it. Um, so uh, they've done a great job and I feel like we've had a very productive, uh, it's been a, a little bit slower than last year just because last mm -hmm. year we came in with pretty much everybody was yeah. returning except for one. And so um, it's been a little bit slower and more methodical this year, but I think, uh, we're going to reap great benefits in the end. It may take us a little bit uh, to get to where, um, you know, we were at, 
last year just because there wasn't a whole lot of learning. But because of the changes that we've made, I think our program is better for it. You guys had multiple scrimmages. You had the blue-white game. You brought in some other teams to, to get some different competition. With all the new stuff you're doing, I'm sure, I'm sure there was good and I'm sure there was bad in those scrimmages that you had. Yeah. How 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 important is, you know, the, the good is great, but how important is it for you guys to make those mistakes during those scrimmages to, to kind of work them out and figure out where you need to be better? Those mistakes are more important than the good stuff. And uh, thank you for kind of leading into that. That was that was a great lead. So to give me a chance the to say that. That's right. Uh, but, yeah, um, it's just very important for us to see, especially for a team that's preseason number one with – seven new people who think that oh we're preseason number one we're just yeah. going to roll through this uh for them to see no this is this is a real deal this is the next yep. level and so you know we're going to have to come in and work hard every day and get better at the things that we struggled with in those scrimmages and i think it was a good eye opener and a good test and you know also times where we could you know gain some confidence and and see that what we're working on practice is going to help us Go to Missouri Southern this week in Joplin. Uh, four games in two days. You're getting right into the fire. A couple good teams. We're talking about Wayne State and how good they're going to be. What are you looking for this weekend? Anything specific from those four games, or are you just ready to get back after it? You know, if we end this weekend 4-0 and or we end at 0-4, we're still 0-0 and in conference. Yeah. And, um, you know, we haven't exactly set our team goals yet, but I know that uh, winning a conference championship is going to be a big part of that. So, uh, everything that we do this weekend is to learn. So we're not really worried about wins and losses. We're just worried about uh, how how do we compete? How do we um, take care of the ball? How do we terminate on offense? How do we how do we defend and against somebody that's wearing a different color jersey than us at a time when it it really counts when the scoreboard's going and you know there's going to be a stat sheet printed out at the end of it exactly. unlike these scrimmages so um i think that we're just trying to learn who we are and uh kind of see more clearly where we're going and silver dollar city on sunday so it's all that's right it's a good that's weekend regardless it's, a, it's very important um, we're going to learn who is afraid of roller coasters Yes, and then we're gonna make them get on those. And roller make coasters. them get on those roller coasters, right. and then buy the picture that they take at the exactly. very end. And uh, you know, you're making the media rounds. You're on Conversation Corner this morning. Uh, John Matthews does not know what Silver Dollar City is. We decided he, he has he no does clue. Not. Um, you know, I might give him some homework. Yeah, just so that he can learn what that is. If you ever tell me that there's a spa at Silver Dollar <laughs> City, I will forever giggle at that because that's exactly what happened, and you had the same reaction I was. I was what? I was a little confused by that statement. Yeah, you you, you played it off well. <laughs> it was a heady play, Coach Collins. Appreciate you stopping by. Hey, thanks for having weekend. us. Uh, this is going to be a great thing. I, I appreciate you having us. Absolutely, thank you, Coach. We'll take one more break. We'll come back with Senior Caitlin Dillon on the Swansu Coaches Show. ASAP General Stores have seven Western Oklahoma locations conveniently located in Weatherford, Clinton, Henson, and Thomas. At ASAP General Stores, you will always find a clean and friendly atmosphere. Hello. Fresh, hot food. Delicious. As well as gas and diesel. Use your kickback card and get rewarded for all your purchases from a store you can trust. ASAP General Stores. Stop by any of the seven Western Oklahoma locations in Weatherford, Clinton, Henson, and Thomas. So, what are you waiting for? Get there ASAP. Here's Jay and Angie Wyatt, owners of Anadarko Dozer and Trucking. We think the cream of the crop is, is all that we hire. It shows not only our safety records, the reports we get from the customers. Even if we don't have a position to fill, if the right applicant walks in the door, we will take the time, we will visit with them, and, and it may be a situation where we weren't looking for that person, but when they walked in the door, you know, they're the right person for us. Apply now at Anadarko Dozer and Trucking on South Main in Elk City or in Hinton, three miles south on 281. How can we energize the future of Oklahoma? FFA is a dynamic youth organization that focuses on agricultural education. Public Service Company of Oklahoma is proud to support the leaders of tomorrow in partnership with the Oklahoma FFA, providing sponsorships, fostering innovation, and inspiring success. Nothing brings a community together like FFA. When energy is boundless, there's a brighter future for all of us. Coors Light is cold packaged. refreshment.
world's most refreshing beer, Coors Light. When was the last time you looked at your cellular bill? No, I mean really looked at your cellular bill. Pioneer has introduced new plans that'll help you find the savings on cellular service so you don't pay more than you should. How about this? Pioneer's new family plans offer unbeatable prices on the area's most reliable cellular network. For example, now get three lines with 20 gigabytes of data for just $90 per month. Wow. Stop by a Pioneer store or call us at 1-800-641-2732 to find the savings. Need your oil and filter changed? Take your vehicle to CJ Southwest Tire in Weatherford. There is no appointment needed. Bring your car, truck, or diesel in today. You can wait in the comfort of their smoke-free lounge while experienced technicians change your oil and filter on your vehicle. CJ Southwest Tire on the corner of Maine and Kansas in Weatherford. Your Bridgestone and Firestone dealer. CJ Southwest Tire. See them on Facebook and at cjsouthwesttire.com. Welcome back to the Swansu Coaches Show here at Lucille's Roadhouse, brought to you in part by Pioneer Cellular, Jet Distributing, Anadarko Dozier and Trucking, and as always, ASAP Energy. We've got Senior Defensive Specialist Caitlin Dillon with us. Caitlin, thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I know that uh, you know there are a lot of expectations on this team, first in the GAC in the preseason rankings, but back to last year, GAC semifinals in Arkansas, you lose to Henderson State. How bad have you been itching to get back out there after that game? Oh, so bad. That's a game that um, you kind of wish that you could have played right after um, to get right back on the court. But I think we learned a lot from that um, loss. I think it, you know, it stung at the time. But looking back, you know, that wasn't our time. And I have a good feeling this year is. You had a lot of newcomers, uh, especially, you know, you got some really tremendous freshmen that are coming in. How much pride as a returner and as a senior do you take in kind of getting them ready, showing them the ropes, not only on the court, but off the court. Yeah, uh, I love this university. And so anytime I have a chance to um, share that with other people, it's so exciting for me. Um, I think that, yeah, all of our freshmen, they already bleed blue. Um, that's something we you hear a lot on campus. Um, and I think that they are just super excited to be here. But I think they bought into the program from the beginning, and they're ready to go. And I think um, as a senior, you know, along with my fellow seniors, we set a standard that mm -hmm. we uphold as a Swasu Bulldog and especially a volleyball um, player on this campus. And so I think they've already bought in and they're ready to go. You know, go back, you know, your freshman year. You've already broken the school record going into your senior year. So it, when you were a freshman, did you see that kind of success that you've had? Did you did you see that that was coming or did you feel that that was coming or was that something that you thought maybe you had a chance at but you weren't sure yet? You know, I had goals coming in, um, but I never – and never thought that big. Um, it's definitely a great, great accomplishment, and I definitely take pride, but, you know, I'm not done yet. I got another year, and um, while that goal was awesome to achieve, you know, I have a lot bigger goals for our team this year. Coach, talking about all the new stuff that's been learned by everybody, not only you, but also the, the, the newcomers, you know, what's been the biggest takeaway for you from, from preseason practices? You know, I, I guess, how much better have you guys gotten from day one until now when you're getting ready for your first matches? Oh, yeah, so much better. Um, you know, we came in, we had uh, eight returners and seven, seven new guys. So um, when you come in with almost a whole new team, you have to start from scratch. So it took a lot of learning at the beginning, breaking things down, um, getting everyone all on the same page, but you know we're working on it and we're still going. But we get our first chance to show um, how far we've come this weekend. Four matches in two days uh, at, in in Joplin, starting Friday, play two, Saturday, play two. You know, for you, what are you looking for from your team? You know, coach said wins and losses maybe don't matter. It's it's about you know what just what happens this weekend as far as improvements. You feel the same way. What are you looking for? Oh yeah, um, I think. We are looking to come out and play Swasu volleyball. Um, establishing that early, establish, establishing that this weekend is um, definitely a goal for us. Um, we've set team goals. We're on our way to setting them. And so building towards those and knowing that we have a long season ahead and that this is just the beginning. But we definitely want to start off on the right foot. Swasu volleyball starts Friday, then Saturday, up in Joplin, then Silver Dollar City Sunday. You like roller coasters, so you won't be subjected oh, to the buying of the picture afterwards <laughs> to be made fun of. So I definitely will. Congratulations, I guess. That's probably the best way to put that. <laughs> Caitlin, thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. Good yeah. luck this weekend. Thanks for having me. That's going to do it for us here at the Swansu Coaches Show. Big thanks to all of our guests and all of our sponsors as well. Football starts tomorrow night, 5.30 pregame, 6.30 kickoff, as the Bulldogs take on Southeastern in Durant. You can listen to that one on 100.3 Coyote Classic. Until next time, I'm Stephen McTeer saying so long from Liz Sills Roadhouse. We'll be back with you next week on the Swansuit Coaches Show.
right.media. Live from Lucille's Roadhouse, it's the Swasu Coaches Show. Brought to you by ASAP Energy, Anadarko Dozer and Trucking, PSO, Pioneer Cellular, Jet Distributing, CJ Southwest Tire, Butcher's Wine and Spirits, McDonald's of Weatherford, Clinton, and Elk City, Bank First, CK Energy, More Than Medicine, A Plus Roofing, and Weatherford Regional Hospital. Now let's head out to Lucille's with Stephen McTeer. 